fellow Star Wars fans, it's Star Up here, and welcome to the channel. This is my review for Disney Gallery Star Wars The Mandalorian docuseries on Disney+. Plus. I know that title is quite a mouthful, but apparently they're trying to start off a whole branch of documentaries based on Disney Plus series, so that's what they came up with. But yes, this follows all of Season 1 of The Mandalorian with 8 episodes, and they range in length from about 18 minutes or so to over 30 minutes in length. So this is a sizable chunk of behind-the-scenes documentary content on The Mandalorian, and I'm all here for it because this was something I really wanted when I finished watching The Mandalorian for the first time because this show deserves something of this magnitude because it is groundbreaking in many ways and in this series they show you those many ways in which it paves new territory for tv that melds into cinematic quality of almost something of a movie at many times so this is broken up into different segments different episodes that remain hyper focused on a certain topic rather than on an episode entirely which i very much appreciate they could have easily gone that route of okay this is based on episode one two three four etc but this is way more interesting and it actually is told in a way that makes a lot of sense they introduce us to the directors because we're going to be seeing a lot of different you know input from the directors throughout the series so they introduce us to people like Deborah Chow, Rick Famiwa, uh, Taika Waititi, uh, you know, all these people that are involved, Dave Filoni of course, and it's some Dallas Bryce Hallard, all these people that are so instrumental with bringing this first ever Star Wars live action series. And then we have the legacy, then we have diving into the technology, the cast of course has a large presence and it's just so fun to see the reactions to them being on the sets. We get into the different things like the score, the connections, the practical effects. So it truly does kind of go to every little aspect of making a TV series. And what what's really cool about this is that they make it easy for the audience to understand. They go into some techno jargon at points, but it's not overbearing. They talk a lot about this thing called the volume. And this is going to change the way that movies and TV are made. It's all these LED TVs. It almost looks like they were on set, but they really weren't because it's all these 4K images that were kind of laced together. Even on the top of the ce you know, the ceiling, they had different images as well, and they put in different, uh, you know, tangible things like rocks and stuff that are actually there, practical, and they kind of meld into uh, the video. So I really enjoyed that uh, and all the connections that they were talking about. The score with Ludwig. Gorenson is incredible. They talk about all that. So this really, I really appreciate it. And I'm going to keep saying that the amount of detail that they broke down in this, it's really something. This is on par with some of the best Star Wars documentaries that I've seen, right? They've had so many documentaries over the years on the films. So to get something that is so outstanding for a TV series, just it's, it's incredible. Plus we had this awesome moments where we had Filoni ranting about Star Wars at its core, talking about the father and the son, like all this stuff that was just so revolutionary for me to understand, like, whoa, this guy's really dropping the mic kind of moments with the duel of the fates and all that sort of thing. I was just very, very impressed by that. And I loved how they kind of cut back between behind the scenes. And they also had this round table, John Favreau at the head of the round table, you know, having people like Kathleen Kennedy and the people behind like John Roll with the effects. And you had the cast around the table. Then you had the directors around the table. You had that conversation with Ludwig Gorenson. So it really is, I think, the gold standard for what's going to go forward. I can't wait to see Disney Plus utilize more of this platform to go behind the scenes in a way that I think is innovative, in a way that is way more interesting than it should have been. This could have been very easy, very dry, very boring, but the way it's edited, the way it's cut, the way we have these very interesting geniuses in the industry talking about something they have so much passion for, it's clearly evident that everyone involved with The Mandalorian is super passionate about what's going on here. And really, the only thing that I have a criticism for is, eh, I would have liked to have a little bit of a tease for Season 2, but that is such a nitpick that I'm not even going to weigh it against what I think totally about this awesome documentary series called Mandalorian. I mean, this is great. Disney, The Mandalorian, that's the only thing, right? Probably the title. I can't even say the title right because it's just so darn strange. But other than that, I will say I recommend strongly this series. If you guys have loved watching The Mandalorian, you're going to definitely want to watch this afterwards. Heck, I want to watch The Mandalorian again after finding out how they made this. It's really something quite special. So that's going to do it for my review of 
Disney Gallery, Star Wars, The Mandalorian. What did you think about this series? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. For more on Star Wars, I have plenty on the channel. I have my Outer Rim Transmission video series, as well as plenty of coverage surrounding Star Wars Squadrons, the brand new Star Wars game that is coming out on October 2nd. That's all about flight combat. So make sure you go ahead and check out that content. That's going to do it for me, Star Raptor. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.